What's up, you guys? My name is Cyberstorf, and welcome back to some more LEGO Arts. In the last episode, I did a showcase on LEGO FNAF Wave 2, into featuring some more animatronics. So now in this one, I finally finished the second portion of LEGO Sword Art Online. Line. This time we are showing Oing Leafa from the ALO, ALO arc, and also Sinon, you know, from the GGO arc. GGO arc. I finished these two, these two shortly after doing the other figure. Well, Sinon, it took a little while. Oh, well, because I waited for some parts to come in. But Leafa, I, s I started working on this one shortly after Asuna, you know, or around the same time as Asuna. I can't fully remember. But I kind of wanted to do one of those cases for, like, since I did Asuna and Kirito as one wave, I figured I should do Leafa and Sinon, you know, in another wave. Another wave. So, as you guys know the whole drill, I'm going to take these minifigures one at a time, do a review on them, explain my process, why I went with this route, and then we'll just go from there. So, without further ado, let's get the showcase on the road! So first up is Leafa from Alfheim Online, or ALO for short. For short. So I started working on this minifigure just about the time as I was finishing up Asuna. Asuna and mainly because of like the fabrics. Fabrics. Uh, like I figured that I'd kill two burns with one stone. And so, but this one is a little bit tricky to do because I wanted to make it unique. Unique. So the hairpiece, as you can see, it's uh, it's like the one that I used for Allison from Bendy and the Ink Machine machine. Uh, she's also got, like, these uh, fairy ears. Fairy ears. I know they kind of look like elf ears, but they're actually fairy ears. Fairy ears. And she's also got a little, a little clay on the front of, on the hairpiece, uh, to, and to match it with the character. And she's wearing the scrunchie, which is, like, the flower. I tried to get it as close as I could to it, but it didn't fully come out right. All right. Uh, the torso, torso is a decal that I made from Drawcast, on casts. And one of the most unique things about this character is the wings. So, Hang on, this, I'm hoping this comes out alright, because this could go out either really good, or really, really bad. Really, really bad, so, okay, easy, easy, easy. Easy, I don't know if I can do this, okay, hold on, hold on, I'm gonna have to, you know, okay, get rid of this, get rid of this, I'm sorry, I mean, for not showing the figure up here, but I kinda need to do this with both hands, and I can't exactly do that, do that if my arms are surrounding the camera. Okay, easy. Easy, easy. We got this. We got this. Ah, uh, be easy. Easy. Almost got it. Okay. Whew, I'm gonna make this really, really quick because I don't know. I don't know if I'll last up. But like the wings, as you know, uh, for those who haven't seen, haven't seen the anime in the ALO arc, LR, it's called. And the game is based off of Land of the Fairies, and there you can fly. Alright. So I wanted to make this character like uh, really have on the wings, but give it the ability to like have them on, take them on, and take them off. And I'm off. So, using this old piece that I used for Wasp, I cut off the wings, like, sands the hell out of this thing, and also sculpted out the fairy wings. Fairy wings. Now, when I first did this, at first my brain did not come across the fact that the that the hair piece, along with the scrunchie, might get in the way. And in the way. So, I had to, like, cut this off and then, like, redo it, sand them as thin as I possibly could, simply could, and then, like, reposition them back on so that way the hair piece would. Like, keep the wings in place, but not stick to it. So, well, I'll show you a little bit of the back. On the back. So, this is, like, the back, yeah, the back torso. I tried to even it out as best as I could, but I don't think this fully came out right. Uh, the arms, arms, I almost thought about making the sleeves, like, poofy, poofy like they are on the show, but I decided to go against that. Against that. And you know what? That's actually a better route. Uh, she's wearing gold, you know, like, gold bracelets on. Uh, there's detailing on the legs, but, like with Asuna, I can't get... I can't move them. I can't move, like, the fabric. I can't move any of this thing. So, it's pretty much stuck together for all eternity. Okay, we'll put this thing back on. Put the wings back on. So, it's easy to get them on. It's not easy to get them off. And I'm off. I'll leave it at that. Okay, and then... Careful, careful, careful. There we go. Whew! That was close. That was close. So, her face to Cal is to Cal. If you guys remember when I said that Kirito... There you go, face was based off of a Link minifigure that I made. The same thing applied to, to Leafa. Hers was based off of Zelda's. Zelda's. But I scrapped the lips because I thought the thought they looked ridiculous. Ridiculous. I recolored the eyes to green. Green because it's my way of doing the colored eyes. And yeah, that was pretty much it. And also I think I might have trimmed a little bit on on the eyelashes a bit. This is a bit, but they pretty much look the same. And she's also got Oh, careful, careful, careful. There we go. She's also got, like, this regular sword, which is pretty much a standard katana. I double-checked the sword a few times, because I know that anime swords, every sword is fashion, 
is pretty much like uh, big and extravagant in its own special way. But this thing is pretty much like a regular katana. So I just took a gold katana I had lying around, repainted the blade, and called it pretty good. So this was so this minifigure wasn't exactly easy to build and probably one of my more tricky ones to do anime wise. And you know what? I like it. I think it came came out pretty good and hope you guys like it too. So let's go on to our next minifigure. So last up on our list, and pretty much my favorite character of the series, is Sinon. You know, from Gungale Online, or GGO for short. Of a short. So I kept mentioning that, uh, that this minifigure was almost done, but I was waiting for a few parts. And as you can clearly see, the parts that I was waiting for was some equipment that I got. Yeah, so with my Christmas money, I bought, uh, like, not like this packet of guns. Guns, uh, like uh, one of those custom pieces. And pieces. Because uh, they contained a few weapons that uh, I thought... Matched up for what Xenon looks like, looks like any actual anime, including, you know, like, her sniper rifle. I know the sniper rifle is not exactly like, like, it on the show, like, those who have seen it. Like, the closest that I was getting to was this custom thing. Custom thing. I almost was gonna modify this thing, but after looking at it, it's like, it looks cool, I don't wanna accidentally break it. Because it was the only one in the package. Package, and I didn't wanna, like, uh, just buy a whole new package just for this specific weapon. Epic weapon, so... I pretty much covered that. Right, so we'll move the gun so you guys can get a look at. Excuse me. So you guys can get a look at the rest of the minifigure. Minifigure. And amazingly enough, this is the one SAO minifigure that I can actually bend the legs. Sadly, though, I can't fully bend the arms. Because um, whenever I do the coat uh, or the jacket, like, tries to, like, rile up, get, like, wrinkled up a little bit. A little bit. Amazingly, though, this coat actually fit on perfectly. Perfectly. Like, after cutting out a little bit, these pieces, like, folded in nicely. Like, uh, like I didn't even have to, like, fully fold them. Hold them. I did had to apply a little pressure, but in general, these came out pretty nicely. I really liked it. Uh, of course, like, there's hand painting on the arms to match up the rest of her coat. Coats on both sides. Uh, her belt. Her belt, it was a little bit weird. A little bit weird. So, like, when we're looking at uh, pictures of the character, I noticed a few other things. Uh, a few obstacles, like... Uh, Hang on, I'll remove the torso so you guys can see, like, a, like, pretty much without the belts, this is what the figure would look like. It looks weird. <laughs> looks weird. And, and, like, with it on, it at least, it at least looks normal. It looks normal. So it's, like, one of those weird things that, like, the full figure is together, but it doesn't fully, like, match up with the character. But that is alright. That's alright. Uh, of course, like, hand painting on the legs, thanks and everything. This little belt pack is... It's actually kind of interesting. So, the way how this thing is designed is that on this side, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to stick a knife in this one. But I just put on, like, a smoke grenade and in here. Uh, she's got, like, her little grenade over here. This area, I believe, is where you stick a walkie-talkie. And then, and of course, is a holster where you keep the firearm. And, of course, on the anime, anime, Sinon does have a gun, but it's on, like, her back. Back. So, it's not fully accurate. And, again, I wanted to make it like that, but I didn't want to damage it. So... There was that, and his pistol, hang on, Harold, Harold, can we get a closer look at the hair? Ah, that's close enough. So this gun is pretty unique, and unique, it's a pretty interesting mold, and it came with a full, and with a bunch of other guns. Some of them I gave to my Detroit Become Human characters, characters, but they were like regular firearms. Um, with this weapon, I, oh, wait, 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 gotta, yeah, there we go. So pretty much uh, how it's designed is that, like, there's a hole, hole on the back of this, and you basically, like, insert the gun that way. Anyway, looking at the rest of the character, character, if some of you recognize the face, this is the same decal that I used when I made X-23 or Lyra from Logan. Logan, I chose to go with that one, because, again, it was closest to, like, uh, what, you know, what Sinon looked like on the anime. Anyway, she's pretty much, uh, she occasionally has, like, some of that, like, serious kind of look, especially when it comes to GGO. Uh, the hair, the hair, I double-checked a few times, because people say that it's blue, but uh, when I looked at it, it's more of like an aquamarine kind of color. So I finally decided, like, let's just stick to the fan base and just say it's blue. Blue. The, uh, the coat, it's the same material that I used when I made Kirito's trench coat and Castiel's trench coat. Trench coat, but jacket size. I then cut off a little bit to match up with the character on the anime. The decal I made on Drawcast. I guess, but at the time, I only made the front piece because I figured that there's nothing really on the back. And, and another thing is that, like, like... Oh, of course, like, the hairpiece is the same one that I used, used to make Sora, Vanitas, and the 11th Doctor. And Doctor, I was originally gonna save this for How to Train Your Dragon, but I decided to change that hairpiece up. Piece up. Of course, like, she's got her, like, her, like, like, little pigtails. 
Intel said, I just played on with Clay. And then, and nope, don't get rid of the hair. Come on, take it off, take it off. There we go. There we go. So you can kind of see that I sand a little bit at the back of the head. The head. Funny little fact of the day. It turns out you can sand fabrics. Fabrics. If you mix it with paint and glue, you can actually sand it. How random is that? <laughs> uh, but pretty much the scarf. It's just scarf. I originally wanted to do it for like I could take this thing off, be a removable piece. But it turns out like when I try, when I applied like these straps on the back of the scarf, uh, the glay, uh, glay. What's glay? <laughs> The glue, there we go, there we go, the glue actually merged with the, the coat, so it's now all one piece. Oops. <laughs> but I guess it's not really big of a deal, because I actually feel no needs to fully decommission this minifigure. Figure it came out pretty well. Okay, we'll give you back your rifle. Give you back your sniper rifle. Okay, 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 easy, 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 easy. Ah, please don't die. Don't die. That's pretty much like uh, my saying whenever I work with a custom. As I'm just, please don't die. Not yet. That's the not yet is to the ones that I don't like and I want to redo. But anyways, with this minifigure, I'm actually pretty proud of it. And it's actually like one of my favorites of like the SAO, uh, of the SAO builds. So how about we go ahead and wrap this video up and prepare for the next, uh, for the next one. Well, that pretty much does it for this episode of LEGO Arts. I don't fully know what the next one is going to be. That'd be, um, I wanted to get these minifigures out of the way for some time, because I wanted to try out, like, new skills and everything, and I think this came out pretty well, and I am hope to try, like, these new skills again soon enough. Um, I guess, like, for some updates for LEGO Arts, I'm already, I've already begun customizing on the Overwatch minifigures I already got. After doing the set review, the review, I fully broke down, like, what it is I need to do, and I've already begun. And two of them have, are pretty much done, much done, I think I just need to do some final touches and then they'll be finished. But again, as I said before, Overwatch probably won't show up for a while. And Kingdom Hearts 3, that one is taking slow as it is. As it is. I've already... I just finished Sora's decals. I need to get started on Kairi's, on Riku's, and maybe a few other characters. characters. So that's... And so that one won't be up for a while. For a while. And, and now that I'm thinking about it, if you guys want me to do some more shorter online characters in the future, in the future feel free to comment below, uh, below and tell me, like, uh, which one should I make next time? Next time, if you get that is of course if you guys want to see the want to see more of this. If not, that's okay too. Me too. But anyways, if you guys want to see more videos like this on the channel, be, uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications. It really really helps us work on let's plays, Lego projects, and we're mainly just here to have have some fun. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that like button, comment below what you think, share this to your friends, subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and here's a half of the room. Ow! Woo! Thank you guys, and I'll see you next time. What do you guys smooth rises? <laughs>